Hey guys, I'm out here in Arkansas visiting an uncle and have I got something for you guys to see. If you guys like old school Toyota trucks, then this video is for you. Damn, these spiders are huge here. Check this out. Gotta watch out for these landmines coming out here. Thank you very much, cows. Here it is. You can see Toyota stamped on this old school tailgate and left and right latches to release it. Let's take a look underneath. Ah, you can see a spare tire back here. Here's the bed of the truck and you can see the wheel well humps are flat. It's got a headache rack and doesn't look OEM to me. Let's move on to the front. Does it look like a Jeep to you guys? This is a 1965 Toyota Land Cruiser. It is the 1965 body, but it does have 1975 parts on it. You can see the headlight piece right here. It's much wider than the rest of the body. Uh, the headlights are also from a 1975 vehicle. Toyota named this model Land Cruiser to compete with the British model Land Rover. There have been some confusion with the naming system of this model. The chassis code is known as J, but there have been letters before the J, such as FJ and HJ. The FJ acronym to some people meant that it was a foreign Jeep. Then there was also HJ, which didn't mean anything. Well, the reality of it was that the F before the J was offered with a gasoline-powered engine, and the H before the J was offered with a diesel engine. This one has converted from the front brake drums to front brake discs. Here's a front tow hook. You can see the steering unit is located in front of the vehicle outside without any enclosure. It currently has a Chevy V8 engine in there and he plans to swap it out for a V8 engine from the Toyota Tundra to keep it Toyota. These vehicles were fairly rare because of the limited numbers that were imported into the US. This one is a US specific model because of the left hand drive. There were also versions with a canopy in the back of the bed and those models are even rarer than this one. One of the cool features about this Land Cruiser is you can fold the front window down and attach them to these latches in the front right here so you can have air blow into the cabin. Here's a better view of the windshield. You can see the hinges here where the windshield can fold down and it latches to the hood at these two points right here. Now let's release the latches and see what's under the hood. And here is the Chevy 305 small block V8 that was swapped in. The way it sits in there looks like it's OEM. So what do you guys think? Is it pretty rare or do you guys see these things all the time? Let me know in the comments section below. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.